my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I'm undecorating from Christmas, and I clean up this old mobile home that we're renting. So if you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. I hope you're all having a happy new year so far. I really enjoyed spending the holidays here in this old trailer up in the mountains, but now it's time to pack up Christmas. So today, as I'm making my way through the trailer doing all my cleaning, I'm going to be putting away all the Christmas decorations. As you can see, I'm starting here in our bedroom. I washed my down comforter, so I'm going to be putting all fresh linens on the bed. I need to dust, sweep, mop, and gather up all the decorations. So if you're ready, let's just get into the video. As much as I enjoy decorating for the holidays, it's always nice when it's time to put the decorations away. And then you have a nice clean slate until the next holiday. Valentine's is right around the corner and I've already picked up a few decorations, but I think I'll wait another week or so before I do any more decorating. I did buy a few new throw pillows for the bed and the couch though, which I found at Walmart. I have the pillow inserts that I bought at Christmas, but I fell in love with these flower pillows and I just had to buy them. I'll probably buy two more pillow covers from Amazon just so I can use the pillow inserts because I don't really have anywhere to store them at the moment. I can't wait to move into our new home. It has four bedrooms and three bathrooms and I'll have plenty of storage space. But unfortunately, space is very limited here in this single wide. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and finish up here in the bedroom. I still need to dust, sweep and mop, and then I need to go throw in a load of laundry.
fresh, clean bedroom. I wish I was able to keep it this clean all the time. I've been so busy throughout the holidays that I wasn't able to keep it as clean as I would like, but it feels good to start the new year off with a clean slate. All right, y'all. Now I need to go swap out the laundry. A nice clean bedroom, a load of laundry in the dryer, and another load in the washer. I say I'm starting to make a little progress. Now I'm going to go tackle the living room. Right now, it's the messiest room in the house. There's Christmas decorations everywhere. Max tore up a stuffed animal, so there's stuffing all over the floor. It's just a hot mess in here, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and pack up all the decorations, take down the Christmas tree, dust, sweep, mop, and vacuum. And of course, this is where Max and Willow spend most of their time, so there's bound to be lots of fur baby distractions while I'm trying to clean. when we finally move because Tim's going to have a couple of storage sheds for his tools so they won't be strewn all over the house anymore. I'm just placing his tools out on the front porch so when he gets home from work he can put them away in his work trailer. We're supposed to be moving in late May just as soon as the boys finish the school year and I can't wait. I love living here but I'm excited to start our new adventure on our little homestead. If y'all enjoy our renovation videos then just wait till we start our work on our new place. I'm sorry I'm not able to show y'all any pictures yet. I have a few pictures, but they show all the previous owner's personal belongings, and I don't feel right posting that on the internet. But as soon as they move out, we'll do a complete house tour video. I tell you what, it's a sight to see. It's a 1975 mobile home with all the original dark wood paneling throughout the whole house. And wait till you see the bathrooms. We got our work cut out for us because we plan on gutting and redoing every room in the trailer, and I can't wait to get started.
really do make me happy. We've been letting Milo spend more and more time inside the house. He pretty much comes and goes as he pleases. He usually comes in to eat, then he takes a nap, usually on a blanket on the couch or on one of the dog beds. He eats and sleeps, and then he heads back outside for more adventures. All right, well, I'm going to play with these pups for a little while, and then I'm going to get back to work. at Walmart. The one in the middle of the couch says happiness is homemade. Of course, Max thought the tassels on the big pillows were dog toys and he tried to chew them off, but we told him no and gave him one of his own toys and so far he's left the pillows alone. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and just keep gathering up the decorations and try to get this living room put back in order. Is such a sweetie, but he's also a little stinker. I lost him in the house for a few minutes while I was taking down the tree, and I found him on my son's bed. He definitely likes a soft, comfy, warm place to sleep, but I try to keep him in the living room. So far, Tim and my boys who are allergic to cats haven't complained too much about their allergies. 
Tim takes a daily allergy pill, but the two boys don't. So when Milo is in the house, I don't let him go into the bedrooms. But I got distracted and off he went. the candy canes back at the beginning of December and I completely forgot to put them on the tree. I just found them packed up with the leftover decorations that I didn't get to use so I'm going to just put them in a couple of mason jars and set them out in the living room. I'm surprised the boys didn't remind me. They love eating candy canes. Alright well I just heard the dryer alarm so I'm going to go start another load of laundry. <laughs>
around when I tell you it takes me twice as long to get anything done around here with all these sweet babies distracting me. It felt like it took forever, but the living room is finally clean. So far, I've cleaned my room. I've washed a couple loads of laundry. I've packed away Christmas, and the living room is fresh and clean. So now I'm going to head into the kitchen. I have a few dishes to wash. The stove is a wreck, so it needs a good cleaning. I'm going to wipe down the cabinets, sweep, and mop. It's getting pretty late in the day and it's almost time to start dinner. 
I'm going to wrap this video up here, and then there will be a part two where I prepare dinner for my boys, and I finish the laundry. So stay tuned for part two. Well, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate y'all being here, spending the day with me, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, y'all.